great faith is rewarded with great blessing. That blessing does not come because we are worthy. It comes because we are first humbled and then welcomed by God because of grace, despite our unworthiness. And Jonathan, this see, this is setting up that final parable of the unworthy servant in a big way. He's already told us what it means with these three lessons and the backdrop of all of those other parables. So you can see the, and again, I, I got to pause here because this just blows my mind as to the wisdom and the power and the reasoning to draw this tremendously diverse crowd together to keep their attention and to give lessons that all of them could look at and say, hmm, some of times they would look at it and say, he's talking about me. I don't like that. And he did that on purpose so they could see. Except the scribes and Pharisees. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, 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 they were they were difficult, but they grumbled because they knew that he was referring to them, and they so and they tried to attack him, and he would just tell another story. That's how he got into the rich man and Lazarus. But after all that Jesus had spoken to this mixed crowd, he had now spoken directly to his disciples. Remember it in Luke seventeen, he's directly to his disciples, and he was wrapping up this period of teaching. With the three lessons in place that we just talked about, not stumbling others, being forgiving, and having faith that can grow, he prepares for the big finale, the final lesson. For his disciples, this next lesson would be a powerful summation of who they were called to be. So he is set up for this with Luke chapter 15, Luke chapter 16, and the first few verses of Luke chapter 17. Now we.